pepper so they get and they serve on a trowel. Okay, so they're gonna throw it anyway, you may as well use it again. Okay, so draw it as a very good, very fast after a sidekick. Uh, if I throw a reverse punch off the spot, I might get him half time, he might get me half time. That's not good enough for me, because over one round, the, the, he might get six, I might get four, I might get six, he might get four. So I'm not willing to take a chance of, but he might win the fight, I might win the fight. Especially if it's say sudden death or something like that, okay? Um, so, I want to find my reverse punch. Okay. Earlier on, we said the back leg dictates how close we are to the press left front leg. So, anybody that bounces, when you're bouncing, you bounce me a test, if you, my back foot says here, I do this. I'm not getting any closer to Jordan at all. All I'm doing is putting myself in a wider stance, so if an opportunity does become available, I'm in a better position to sit. Okay? So if you're going to test at someone, two legs go together. So now I go from this position here, and I'm in the fourth, straight away. Okay? If you are going to test, Two legs test, again, that back leg earlier on was underneath the shoulder, so when I test, the back leg stays underneath the shoulder. If, uh, as I test, Jordan comes in with a back fist, one leg can pull back and back fist. If my distance is here, the weight's off, all off, and it's all my front leg, and I'm going to be off position. If Jordan doesn't uh, react, as I test here, I can push from here straight in. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, I know Jordan has a fast side kick, I'm going to try and make him throw that fast side kick. I'm going to bounce it up here, I go forward here, take the slick up here, and I'm going to my shots. Okay? So I'm countering his counter. We're two steps ahead, basically, alright? So at the moment, what we have is a reverse punch. That's my attack. Jordan's counter from my reverse punch is a psychic. That's Jordan's counter. Well, I'm going to have a counter for Jordan's counter. I know he's going to throw a psychic, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to throw my body as if I'm going to throw that reverse punch. So then that starts his counter, and then I'm going to take his psychic on the arm and stay in there and put him on my hands. Okay? Um, this is re I, I use it a lot, it works great actually. Uh, Provide you take the shot far away from your body. Don't do this, one, I'll take the kick in here. Don't throw the shot and then do this, because there is a clear referee is that you need the right test and that might be a score. Okay? So, away from the body. It's really convincing. You don't want to give your advantage to him. That's when he gets a point. So, when we take off, all the body movement of a bad reverse punch. You know those reverse punch? You know someone's sitting here and they're going to throw that reverse punch? I want him to think I'm going to throw my reverse punch with that. So, I'm going to sit here like this, I'm going to throw the shoulder, I check forward, and then I'm going to take it here and put it in the top. Okay? Right, I work in closed stance, I work in open stance. Your front hand and your back hand need to act as a shield. This will cover so much, this going underneath it will cover so much more. Okay? So, with my hand coming down this way to protect my body, my head's open. With my hand coming up this high to protect my head, my body's open. Two hands can protect. So, as you do, you shoot forward, that kick comes up, take two of them, and straight in the top. Three, four punches. Don't do a lovely technique, get in there, and then throw a back fist, and then you take them to the guard, and then stop. I'm hoping you get the score. Make sure you get the score. Okay? Let's go. We're going to do this for about two minutes max, then that's it. Yep. <laughs>